Hello, thanks for joining me. It's Wednesday the 13th of March. I have a two card tarot reading for you and I'm here every day. So please do like and subscribe to my channel. It'd be lovely to see you. Right, that card literally just flew out onto my knee. <laughs> so let's see what it was. The Four of Cups and we've got the Nine of Pentacles as well. So these are the crystal tarot. There's crystals in each of these cards. So for the Four of Cups, we've got a calcite, Cobalton calcite. Never heard of that personally. But according to Philip's book here, it helps you see the beauty both around and within you. And as you look inside, discover your true path. Well, that's really lovely, isn't it? And, you know, sometimes the Four of Cups, I'll come to the Pentacles in a moment, but sometimes the Four of Cups appears in a reading and we see somebody looking a little bit bored, just kind of, you know, sitting around waiting for something to happen. Um, but with these lovely crystal cards, I feel like the fact that it's just the cups with the water overflowing from them, it does remind us that every emotion that we have is for a reason. So, you know, if our if our emotions are very stable, which would be indicated with the lovely stability of the number four in our in our card reading today, it kind of gives us a chance to just settle, doesn't it? You know, if you're anxious or if you're stressed or if you're super excited um, or overcome with joy, you don't have that opportunity to reflect. If you have got that really nice, stable, emotional balance, then you can, can't you? You can have that time to just be a little bit reflective. And often in the Four of Cups, it comes across as being bored or that nothing's happening. But, you know, internally, sometimes we're processing stuff, aren't we? And with the Cups cards, that can take a little bit of time. So I do feel like this is a card to say, just take a little bit of time out today. That's OK. It's absolutely fine to do nothing for a little bit of time, not even meditate or walk in nature, all those things. It's literally a nothing. Do a nothing. Factoring nothing for yourself today, um, just for a short while anyway, because I do feel that's going to give us just a little glimmer of inspiration of what makes us happy? What are our goals? What do we really want from here? Obviously, after the fours comes fives, don't they? And the fives are a time of change. So it's like making, being aware that change is going to happen, but having it on your terms. And a lot of people don't see that five sometimes, do we? As, um, as a change that you actually want to happen. But look here, we've also got this beautiful nine of pentacles card. Um, I love the way that these pentacles have balanced and they're really solidly rooted into the ground and they've built on and built on and built on. So it's like, you know, there's a, a sequence there, isn't it? One and then the two, one and then the two, one and then the two. So in theory, that that's so stable that we could actually just balance on top and top and top forever. But there's certainly room for one more on the top there to make the ten. It looks like that's not going to be any trouble at all to just reach out and get that extra pentacle on top. So I feel like that's what we're doing in this moment of nothingness, gathering our thoughts and feelings together to think, well, OK, things are pretty stable. Things are OK. But what could I change or tweak just to make it that little bit better? Now, let me tell you, I never remember these, so let me tell you what um, the Nine of Pentacles crystal is. Okay, Oconite. I think we've had this before. It's a beautiful white crystal. I don't know if you can just see it up there, Lip. It's a lovely white crystal with a kind of green edge to it. And it will help you remove any self-doubt. Well, we certainly don't want that. We certainly don't want in our moment of calm and stability and nothingness start given a million reasons why we can't do something. That's not what we're looking for here. And obviously the nine of pentacles comes into a reading when we don't have self-doubt, when we do really believe in ourselves and our abilities and what it is that we've got to offer the world. We had this in a very similar way yesterday. I think we had the nine of cups. It's a similar kind of thing. You know that 
oh, okay, yeah, I'm really content with who I am. So I feel like if you were somebody that had self-doubt and could hold yourself back and has maybe done that before in the past, I feel like this is really looking at maybe this is the change that's coming, the new you, the new person without self-doubt and with self-belief to be perfectly capable to be getting this extra pentacle making that lovely set of ten of pentacles which is the ultimate card i feel like in the tarot sometimes so yeah i hope that message helps for you today i'll be back again tomorrow with another reading for you and i look forward to seeing you then bye for now